Hi you guys, happy Saturday. I'm out walking the beast. Um, it snowed last night. It's still kind of snowing or it's just being blown off all the trees. Focus. Um, but happy Saturday. I wasn't really anticipating this weather. I was hoping my dad and I could go to the driving range today, but maybe another day. Um, how are you guys? I hope you're having a fabulous week, weekend, day, night, whenever you're watching this. Um, yeah, we don't have a ton planned for this weekend. Um, I'm actually going to New York next week, the week after, for work, so trying to prep for that. Um, but that's really it. Like I said, I thought we were maybe gonna go um, golfing, but not with this weather. So I'm just gonna walk the dog and see what we come up with this weekend. Wednesday. Uh, it's early. It is about 7.45 in the morning. I'm cracking open one of these protein shakes because they're my lifeline. I wake up so hungry in the morning. I'm sure that has to do with several things, but like ravenous in the mornings and this is the easiest thing to get down and to like satiate me so that I can get ready and then like eat and do what I need to do in the morning. Um, 
but I'm not always in the mood to just like immediately make a meal and eat something so if you haven't tried these they're so so good but once you try these you'll never want to drink any other protein ever again because these are incredible and they taste so good everything else makes me gag now so just be careful I'm just I'm just warning you that you're gonna fall in love and then you're gonna have to buy these from Costco because they're also expensive they're like almost four dollars a piece if you're just buying them normally so anyways happy Wednesday happy hump day for me and my protein shake cheers yes but today is Wednesday like I said happy hump day I have to work um, so we're gonna get ready this morning and then I'm gonna try out a coffee shop that's about 10 minutes up the road just need a change of scenery I feel like I've worked from home for a little over a year now and it's been a major adjustment for me like I really hold on there we go oh there she is oh my god she is so cute let me zoom out nope that's in let's zoom back out okay but yeah i've been working from home for a little over a year now and i love it right i love it it's so flexible i love my job i love the company i work for everything like that um but like productivity is hard sometimes when you're at home five days a week so I'm going to try out this coffee shop and if I like it, I'm going to try to implement it two or three times a week, especially on some of my busier days when I just really need to put my head down and get some stuff done, uh, which today is one of those days. So fingers crossed that I like this coffee shop. Hopefully they have a decaf or a chai. Um, yeah, but they got good reviews on Yelp, so I'm excited. If this one doesn't work out, I'm sure I'll find another one, but this one's just so close to the house that I feel like I'm more inclined to go because it's so close. Um, so yeah, I am hopeful about the coffee shop, and yeah, I gotta walk the dog, eat, shower, change. Well, I gotta walk the dog, eat, work out, shower, change, and then we'll go to the coffee shop. I'll take you to the coffee shop. I'll let you drink my cappuccino. Go ahead, girl, drink it all. We'll get a blueberry scone on the side. Okay, gotta go, bye. Oh, another thing I need to do today is go to Target to pick up my drive-up order that's been there for two days already. I'm hoping if I go get it early this morning, they won't put it back. It's just hangers and some skincare but i need the hangers because that's another project that we're working on we as in me um is my bedroom upstairs i had like 12 hangers and i need to figure out what we're doing with the clothing situation i'll show you guys it's a little chaotic but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out okay i'm an organizing queen okay i organized this freezer with nothing with no additional equipment okay that's how good i am at organizing so anyways i gotta pick up hangers from target as well i'm saying this to myself so i can so you guys can keep me accountable okay remind me to go to target don't be lazy go to target and pick up your drive up order i don't even have to go in i don't even have to go in the store okay thank you
Okay, so I did decide against going to the coffee shop today because I'm feeling a little under the weather. Um, I'm on the mend. I feel like this is probably the last day of it, but I want to be respectful. So I'm not going to go to the coffee shop today, but I do have a Target pickup order that's been sitting for like two days. So I'm going to go grab that. My errand running shoe of choice. All right, well, I failed and totally forgot to bring the camera in the car, but I just went and got some hangers. I got two boxes of these um, velvet non-slip hangers. I got 60 hangers. I feel like that's enough. I My closet is not huge. Um, and I have a chest of drawers and a little nightstand with two drawers. So I've got the storage, I just, I'm trying to figure out how to configure the room. So that's kind of what I'm working on this week. Also, since we're here, um, I guess I thought I would just kind of sit and give like a quick life update, very brief, but um, I am, 28 years old and I just moved in with my dad um, I don't know how long I'm gonna be here it could be anywhere from three months it's already been two so probably anywhere from six months to a year to two years to five years I don't really know I grew up um, living across the country from him so I saw him but definitely not every day like I would have liked or as frequently as I would have liked and then after high school, I thought maybe I'd go to college here um, or like live close and that didn't really happen. And, and then life, right? And then I just, I had other apartments and boyfriends and then I moved to Colorado and jobs and yada, yada, yada. So um, my most recent relationship ended and rather than sign another lease, I just decided that I wanted to move in with my dad and he's obviously happy to have me um and that's where i'm at and i guess i'm sharing that because i am pushing 30 <laughs> and i definitely had a different idea of what my life would look like and i honestly feel like i put this desire of mine to live with my dad I feel like I pushed it off because I felt like I was too old I'd already lived on my own why would I move in with my dad like that's a step backwards but and maybe maybe it might look that way but honestly I'm so happy I'm so happy with the decision I made I feel really good about it I feel really grounded and safe and like I have 
taken some of the pressure off and I have a little bit of time to just kind of like breathe and figure out what it is I want to do and what's going to make me happy and how I grow and move forward from here. And on top of that, I feel like my dad and I are getting, sorry, Bean is pushing the, can you, do you mind, sir? You want to be involved? You want to be involved? Um, and on top of that, my dad and I are getting some really amazing quality time together and I love it. So I don't know if you're feeling like you want to make a life change that might, you know, look weird or different. Um, or, you know, you might think you're too old or whatever. You're not and you should try it. You should do it. Give it a go. I feel like I, everything that's happened in my life that's been really good and really drastic has happened before I was ready. Um, or there are things that I talked myself out of. Um, and then when they happened, I was so happy that they did. So yeah, that's just a little life update about me, you know, getting all the little things that I need because this is home. And I'm really, really happy to be here. I feel like this is a really good decision and I'm excited to see what else is to come. Um, Bean is here, so I have everything I need. Oh. Okay, anyways, um, yeah. Good morning, it's Friday. Happy Friday. Um, I'm upstairs right now trying to get some things organized in my closet really quickly. I think I showed you guys that I bought some hangers earlier um, and I need, oops, Teddy, and I need to like fully move into my closet because my bedroom is chaotic. Like, this is my situation right now with just like literal piles of clothes like this isn't how I slept but like this is me trying to get things organized um, and then this is our closet situation right now all that stuff I think has to stay up there for now but the goal is to at least get everything in the closet I would love to relocate litter box um, it's just about finding another space and if I do relocate litter box then my goal would be to get this dresser into this closet. Um, I'm so out of breath. Um, to save some space in the room. So, any hoodle, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the rough draft first edit. Kind of cleared this out a little bit, got a vacuum, but not bad, except for that. Again, first draft, rough edit. I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. I still have some hangers left over. I need to do some laundry, and I know I have a couple of tops coming, so hopefully that's enough. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. To go from all those piles now I just need to like tidy the rest of my room but no more major piles of clothes so that's a win for me I know this is probably like so bizarre but nothing makes me feel more put together than like a decently organized closet I feel like I have my shit together again so if your life is feeling a little out of whack a little chaotic Maybe you just need to organize your closet. I don't know, I'm just saying, try it out. I'm just saying. Here we go, laundry's going. It's just, it's a Saturday. Happy Saturday, you guys. We're in the bathroom because I just ran a bath. Saturday morning, like, ritual, I feel like. Um, I got up this morning, walked the dog, worked out, I did a little, um, Pilates by Raven, Pilates body? I can't remember quite, but Raven from Love is Blind, who does Pilates on YouTube. I did a 25 minute class of hers. 
I'm obsessed. She's psychotic. Like, she's absolutely psychotic in all the best ways. So, if you haven't seen that, check that out. Whenever I need, like, a boost, I feel like she's who I go to. Um, I finished my 30-day yoga um, little program, the Yoga by Adrian one that I was posting on my Instagram about. Um, I finished that yesterday, so that's why I did a Pilates today, and I really enjoyed that as well. Just as like a foundational practice, just to even get back into the routine or get into the routine for the first time. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, so, yeah, that's what I did to work out, and then I did like some random weights, like three sets of some legs, because um, I'm trying to incorporate that two to three times a week just because I know how important strength training is. I love yoga. I even love like Pilates, Legree. Um, anyways, it's an, a conversation for another time, but um, I love all of those workouts, but I know how important strength training is. Um, so I just try, I'm trying to maintain it two to three times a week in my routine. So I did a little bit of legs, like literally just a little, just sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, but yeah. Happy Saturday. I am gonna get in that bathtub and chill out and read my book. I've got my Kindle handy. I'm like, I'm officially in the reading every free minute that I have um, era. I haven't read like this since I was literally in like middle school, high school, so I love it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm gonna get in the bath for a while and then I need to edit this video and get it ready for posting tomorrow. It'll be my fourth vlog in a row um, on my weekly vlog journey. So that's exciting, kudos to me, small wins, small wins. Um, but yeah, if you're enjoying the video so far, give them a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, tell your friends, post about it, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option